gentlemen, to another game of the U Cipher. This is gonna be the finale for the season one. It's gonna be the Shadows versus the Yakshas. So we saw today the Tekken 7 match and Hans being the undefeated champion for the U Cipher League. Not even a single game lost. He has been performing so well. So the first game already has gone towards the Shadil. And now it's gonna be CS. I am Jireen and with me is Anurag T2. Hello all and we are waiting for the ninth round which has already begun. It's Yakshas versus the Shadils. Hans getting the Shadils off to a good start, winning the Tekken map easily. And here we are to the decider. And it's not the decider, but yeah, the team who wins this takes a momentum into the next game. And let's see what happens. It's a three on three with the Yakshas on Shadils, but they are low on HP. So the Shadils taking the knife round here and it's Starboy who has to survive the brunt of three shades. The lions are roaring behind him. Let's see whether he manages to survive. But no, he's been he takes on one, but Red takes him down. So good start for the Shadels in the CSGO map as well. <coughs> so just to brief you all, Shadels has played Yakshas and they both have played each other twice in the train map and it's been a vice versa. It's like Yakshas have won first time 16-10 and the uh, Shadels won first time 16-10 and it was Yakshas uh, the other time who won 16-10. So let's see who takes the decider. It's a BO3 for them too and this is a deciding map and let's see who's the champion of the train. Well, I'm pretty much excited today for this game because it's the finale and like it's gonna it's be also the last nice, day we are, you, yeah. you're gonna see us. Yes, and it's man, like, you're gonna miss you guys. But I'm not gonna miss you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna miss them, man. Ah, yeah, we actually worried. miss them, but let's see what happens. It's like we don't want it to get over, but just yes. and let's see what happens. It's like Shadels, they are trusting the CD side more. Uh, looking after the uh, last map, otherwise they would have preferred to play ST. But they know that they, ha they haven't performed well and they were destroyed by Recoil Master and Skadoosh in the last time where, when they ma met. It was Recoil Master and Skadoosh just destroying them with their ops at the open mid side. So, so they want to just uh, go in uh, with the positive approach. So that is why they have taken CT and I hope Freaky doesn't stand with a grenade that he did the other time and he got <laughs> perished and he got punished and that is how they lost that round and in the end that round gave the momentum to the Yakshas and they just ran away with the game. So here we were, here we are with the first round. It's looking like a setup coming towards the IV. It's going to be Falker going for the first track and Red. Nice headshot coming in from Red. Shutting down Impale over there. He now has one players going towards the city side and he is going to get shut down but just viewing those players are moving towards the city side. It's gonna be a three on three situation, like not much utilities on them, but one three does have a flash to work with. And on slot, slot does have a, like a nice ninja kit on him. Like there's a kit and a smoke, which can be a nice turnaround for them. And now it's gonna be Starboy and Falcon going for the duel, and Starboy is gonna win this. Well, he is going for the second fight as well against slots. But uh, I think Slot should play passive uh, and not go aggressive because he doesn't have a backup over there. Mantri going down with the C4. The C4 is now running. There's 35 seconds on the timer right now. It's a 3 on 2 situation. Well, Mantri has been followed by Slot, but Slot taking some damage and missing those bullets. Not looking good, but Buster comes in with a nice backup and he's gonna shut down uh, Mantri over there, making it a 2v2 situation. Well, Starboy and Recall Master with a nice pose over there, but that smoke did work for them. And yes, the diffuse has happened. Like amazing start coming in at the start of the round. Seven hundred dollars well spent with a kit and a smoke. And finally, the importance of the kit, uh, which uh, Jerin looks after often. He doesn't look at the economy, but he looks after the kit. Finally, he the, finally the kit has been justified. Yes. And a nice uh, uh, diffuse coming in by Slodger. It would uh, do him a world of confidence. Then and, and let's see whether he could carry the momentum. It's as always, we it's a game of momentum and the team and it, sometimes it, it doesn't depend upon the team. It always depends upon the uh, approach and the momentum and if you have some skills and you have a good team and you have a good coordination going, it's like and if it's your day, you can defeat any team in the world. But let's see whether Shadels, uh, they had their differences in the past but they have buried it and they just made an amazing comeback against the marksman and they defeated the title favourites to reach out over here. So, uh, shade this cannot be taken lightly. They have started uh, this uh, finale on a very positive note by taking the Tekken. Tekken was a one-sided game because it's like yeah. an, he's an unbeatable champion there. So it's all, it's up to them. It's like 
Hans has clicked. Now the shade, the, the CS today, team like, has to click. Yeah, even today he got like three perfects in this game. Like he actually started the game with a perfect. But now moving on to the CS match, like Impale has got the first frag onto the side and it's going to be Falcon going for the second one. Freaky going crazy over there, but just with one frag. And Starboy shutting him down. Falcon comes in with the second frag over there. And now Recall Master is going to shut him down. What is going on? It's just raining frags everywhere on this map. It's going to be a 2 1 2 situation. Well, Buster with a nice free angle over there going for the second frag. And then, yes, he does this. Two frags straight in a row. Buster winning the second round for the Shadils. Amazing game coming in and Ritz. Now has the kid on him. I love kids. <laughs> yeah, he just loves kids. And well, yeah. That is what I'm talking about. It's like the importance of the kid justifying the first round itself. And nice gameplay coming in from both the side. They uh, they went in uh, uh, for the round. The Yakshas they just went in for a buy and they almost pulled it off. But uh, it was the Shadels that pulled it off at the last moment. So it's like a game even piercing right now. Oh, and look at Slot, he's going crazy. crazy. The diff is working wonderfully well for him and what I can say, he's on song right now. And meanwhile, Freaky just left the game. It might be a small technical issue there. So there's... Yeah, what? might be his system might be crashed. It does happen sometimes. So technical errors does happen. And a TK coming in for recall master. And but all not going. Went, went crazy with this. What is happening? This bro hugs given in mid of the game. And... Well, slots, amazing three headshots coming in from him, man. But we have our rule book, so this round won't be countered. It's like slots have to repeat this again. Let's see what the decisions that have been taken by the admins for this. And uh, the pause comes in, and it was actually the round start. But uh, did uh, slots get uh, like those kills before? Uh, the decision or the like decision he got disconnected, or let's see. It's all on admins, so we won't be interrupting in much. The decision has situation. been made, and the console has already stated this round don't mm -hmm. don't exist. And let's say we have a small technical delay, and we we would be back soon. So just stay ahead and don't go any, anywhere because we are in for a thriller. Uh, well, it's gonna be an amazing game ahead because we have seen Yakshas also coming in for like the comebacks in this game. So now let's see. Will this happen again? Well, the pause comes in and it's going to be a round restart. Well, the admin goes all good. Well, now we return with the yes, and now the round has been restored. It's gonna be two nil again, and because Freaky did get disconnect because, like, what happened over there? His system crash. It but happens yeah, like, sometimes. Yeah, it it's, happens. It's like it's, it's, after all, it's a machine, and machine sometimes give away. But let's see, slots. He had some good kills out over there, but yeah, I do feel bad for him. Like he got like those three headshots straight in the way, and the players were moving from. The inside. Oh, again, it's gonna be this freaky this time with going for three. Oh, oh shit! What a headshot! Freaky! What headshots are there? Oh my god, freaky going crazy over there. Slot just finishing. And no, it would, it would be Buster over there. Well, it's freaky like, going just freaky with it's those like frags. It's like, come, come, come. I'll see you. And it's like Shadis who has started this on a positive note. And Yakshas. Uh, you can't count them out yet because it's just three rounds that have gone by and, that, and the buy comes in now and let's see what happens. It's like a full AK buy coming from the Yakshas. No no ops, not sure about nothing. It's like it would be a clear rush from their side. But what I'm seeing now, it's like they are going in for the smokes. It's like Impale who, as he has done uh, previously, he would be going in for the entry frags because if he clicks, his team manages to win most of the maps. So let's see, but this has to be a collective effort from the Yakshas, otherwise they would take it on Buster. Let's see whether he manages to do some damage out over there. Man, they're getting a headshot on right. And Starboy taking down slots. It's like Falcon who has to do all the damage and he spots one, takes down one. Impel has been taken down. It's like Starboy, they are going in for the plant. Nice smoke coming in. And Freaky gets Manti there. So Buster gets recoil. Buster gets Starboy. It's a 2v1 all up to Skadoosh. What a comeback from the shades in, in this song. It's Skadoosh. Let's see, they are searching him. And, and Freaky takes down Skadoosh. They are just going bonkers, the Shadis and Yakshas, they had their round after the smokes going in, they had time for the plan. But I don't know how the Lions and the Lions are roaring today and let's see whether the Yakshas would be hunted today or they would be making a comeback.
I'm pretty much sure it's going to be the Shaders who's going to take a victory today because uh, as per the uh, previous stats I have seen and they've seen their gameplay as well. So they are playing pretty much good and they know how the Yakshas play on the train map because the first map they actually lost to the Yakshas. Uh, it was train, it was 1016 and then they came in with a nice comeback and gave them like a reversal move or something. It was 1610 the exact opposite and yeah, so it's like always been a matter of 26 rounds for both the teams. It's like uh, one time it was Shadels and this, and another time it was Yakshas. But now, as we see Shadels, there's no up coming in. It's like the rich, it's like I, I had to talk with him. It's like I would be assaulting and it's my best weapon. So I just switched in for the up because the team needed it. And uh, if the team needs it, no better thing than a captain standing up. So he did up, but right now it's the final and it's like he's going in for his best gun. And let's see whether Yakshas can manage to stop him. And Falcon just spotting somewhere and the nade goes in, let's see whether he does some damage and oh my a god, it just took Starboy right? and Impel out there. So good good nade coming in for Falcon, but Impel with those with eagles, he's like you you cannot stop him. It's like he killed three guys in three bullets and uh, Buster is low on HP and it's just <laughs> Kadush and Impel. You cannot count Impel out because he manages to justify the price tag of his pistol every round he takes them. Well, let, let it be the Regal, let it be the P250. He loves his pistol and he, we have seen in the previous and in the entire season that he managed to get uh, at least a single kill with his uh, uh, pistols and he is a freaky shutdown. Kadush. So it's like it's looking good for the Shaders because it's Kadush and it, it's like and slots kill down Impel. So it's How can he miss for the, easy it, shots, man? It's okay, it happens. Sometimes the pressure gets a better, of, uh, better of you, and it's like freaky and slow. They are the third and fourth pick of the shade. Uh, they are the fourth and fifth pick of the shade deals, and they are perform, performing exceedingly well. So it's all looking good for the shade deals, and if they continue their form, it would be very tough. I'm repeating, it would be very tough for the Yakshas to win this because. It always depends on the fourth and the fifth player. The role of the fourth and fifth player is important because you know the top three guys would perform because they are professionals. And the fourth and the fifth guy, they have to perform if the team has to click. And that is what is happening good for the Shades out of And Starboy with a good headshot on Falkel. As soon as I say about the war for the fifth, it's like the fifth player of uh, the Yaksha standing up. And let's see whether he could catch him. But he was caught napping out over there. And Freaky, what is he doing? He's uh, destroying them with his rush. And Duke is coming in from Freaky Island. I think this guy is motivated. He he wants to take revenge. It's like Meko Mar ke tum log gaye baar jite the. I won't be giving this opportunity now. And recall master. Was Freaky the lowest fragger in the last game, uh, or it was someone else? It's okay, I know, but he didn't didn't perform up to the expectation last game. So and he is making all amends for it in the finals. And what a good time to stand up and uh, come at the situation, come at the man. You can see Freaky. He's being my favorite player. Sorry for I'm not being biased here, but the way he's playing and. <laughs> Wait and if he and if he's really? playing and if he's playing like yeah. this in the city, God save the Yakshas in the T side. Well, now speaking about the frags, it's gonna be Freaky on 252. The top fragging over there, and meanwhile Chief is just getting burned, and that revenge coming in from Skadoosh over there. Well, now Impel is gonna miss two shots, but yet a revenge frag coming in from Slot as well. A nice headshot to shut him down. Six nil, a lead on the city side. Amazing gameplay. Coming in from the Shadils, man. Well, coming back to the frag, it's gonna be freaky on 252, Buster on 250, well, Ritz on 248. So just two frags difference so between we are all seeing, those. We are seeing some grudges being made out of it. And, and they, they are just ripping the frustration because they can't digest the fact that it is a, it is a top two team playing and they have they have to manage it out. And a rush coming in there by Freaky, I suppose it is Freaky out over there or Ritz, they have, it, it's Falcon who's made the rush, so he's in all sorts of bother, but he manages to get away just in time. So it's like, uh, he just threw it away that round, but the Yaksha, they're so low on confidence they're, that they're not even managing to kill a single kill. Buster with, he's, he's just playing aggressive, he's not like giving them space. So he knows that the flash and smokes would be coming in and they would, they, they would be going in with the plant at the A side and he and a good smoke coming in. I, I don't know whether he has done it, but he misses the shot. But Impel takes him down, but it slots and Falcon coming up with the backup. So it's like Falcon, it's a very dangerous position, but he misses the shot. Shabba comes in, it's up to Ritz. He has a good shot there. Let's see whether he can manage to do some damage. And Freaky, he's in a pretty dangerous position right now. And Skadoosh would be in a lot of trouble and he just managed to give info. But Freaky, he takes on Skadoosh. Everything is uh, hitting for him and it's like he, uh, he's hitting the golden eye with every shot. And he takes on Mantri. This guy is crazy. I'm telling you, this guy is crazy. 
It's like it's his day and the Yakshas need to avoid him. He just fired into the smoke and he gets cut so it's like going all well for him and you can see the smile on his face. So the Yakshas man. and the Sher Dils they are just killing this. It's the and what a time to do this in the finale. No one gave them a chance. The Sher Dils they're like in look they won't make it. They have lots of differences in the team but but look at the score and it's like Yakshas do Yakshas don't have an answer to the to to, to the assault. Well, Shaders are playing uh, like very smartly, just waiting for the perfect time, then going in for those smokes and flashes, and then they're moving out. And this is going to be a mistake coming in from the Yakshas as they are moving towards the Lions. It's going to be a roar coming in. One by one, the frags are going down. It's just raining frags all over the server right now, deleting the Yakshas right now. It's going to be a timeout coming in from the Yakshas because the stats are not working for them. And Skadoosh has to sing something. And the crowd going crazy over here. We can see the posters are coming out. Luxus. And oh my it's like God. it's a one-sided game now and people are just going crazy out over here. And Yakshas, they are just out, they are just being outplayed and Shade is the better team today. Yeah. So let's see, their pause has to be taken by, uh, but, but I guess they have given away too many rounds. Uh, Strain is a city-sided map, but you have seen comebacks being made from 13-2. So yeah, you cannot man. write them off yet, but the way the Shade Hills are playing, look at those tracks, look at Riki, look at Buster. And even if you add the score lines of all the Yakshas players, it's like 15. And Riki and, and you, you just take a, the score of Buster of Riki, it's like, they are playing they are playing one on fire right now so not looking good for the yakshas they are just and playing with this they, they need yeah. to just carry on with Dude. this and yakshas need to come up with a brilliant answer to the assault or this would be embarrassment in a final they are they, just they, playing with those like what do you call it like rag dolls or those test dolls who are just in front of them you just have to shoot them it's, just it's like, like a, a dummy target passive passive bots just coming in it's so easy to kill them they are making look they are making it look so easy for us man a totally one-sided game coming in. I don't know what uh, is now the plan for the Yakshas because nothing, all the smokes and flashes they are trying to execute is not working for them right now. And even look at the current scenario. They do not have like much utilities to work with. Only flashes and just one smoke. It's it's a really bad situation to just to move in a side and that too against the Shaders who are performing so well. It's like an aim war like against between these two and like the, uh, the Shaders are much better with the aim war right now. And I guess and the Yakshas have gone into the chest. And going for the first getting impact out there. Flag as well. Oh my god, what's going on? Buster is on fire right now and Falcon Freaky just coming in like a backup, a nice tag team coming in from these two players and Skadoosh with the C4 going towards these small ladders. But the rotation has already been made by Slots. He is holding towards the side and Mantri with a good pose over here. Well, it's, it's coming from behind. He spots it. He's going to take him down. And now it's going to be Skadoosh. It's going for the second frag as well. It's going to be a 9-0, like totally just humiliating the Yakshas today. What is going on, am man? I like Shadrils or am I, am I seeing an IP here? <laughs> it's like they are just dominating, taking all the aggressive shots. It's like they are playing as a terrorist. See, you, you saw Falcon there. He just made up a rush into alley. It's like, chali, there koi nahi apun jate. And they just managed to go, go up and destroy them at the inner side. So not looking good for the Yaksha. It's like the rush is not working. The passive game is not working. It's only God who they are rushing, now. man. And they spot Buster there. Nice kill coming, but Falcon backs him up. Rick shake down, sharp boy. Mandi takes down. It's a three on three, but they have their weapons, the shades, and they just have the pistol, the Yakshas. And Falcon in a very conservative posy right now. And let's see what's going to happen. So it's like some Kukush log bhaun on me bhae gai ya and they had to shock Oh what shot coming in from Mantri over there? Falcon being instantly and he would be shocked and it's like Mantri you beauty what a shot was that? But Mantri has a AK to work, has a M4 to work with and it's freaky and it's lodged and let's see the fourth at the fifth pick of the shade which could eventually call this off and you can trust this guy and he loves going through smokes and he has done this in the past and he's going it Slots gets it, Slots gets Kadoosh, Freaky gets Mantri, oh this guy is God. crazy, he's just dealing fire with fire, it's it Slots, it's Impale who has to do the killing, he has, he has been spotted, Freaky takes him down, it's all an easy for him, easy peasy, level squeezy boy, he just what destroys him and Freaky yes, yes, up yes. to man, what is this guy up to today, he's just raining frags, raining bullets on the Yakshas, is this gonna be a 16-0? What is this? Come, come, the game coming into the finale. We have seen some amazing games. 16, 14, like, and comebacks as well from teams, like from 13, 2, and all, like, what all games. But today, 
Oh my God! It's Shehzad. What a amazing fight given by them. I knew this was coming because they were they are pretty much confident on the game on the train map and it's their favorite map. And now Slot is gonna go aggressive towards the small lad as he does. He a few players firing on towards his left and a double off setup coming in from the city side as well. But Skadoosh is gonna gonna be the first ragger just to shut down Red, the captain of the team. Well, it's gonna be Skadoosh now to take a fight against Buster, but. Buster is going to win the duel against him. Well, nice strategy coming in, but now the players are going one by one down, and Slots just burning to death just by taking a rec uh, taking recall match over there. It was just like a revenge flag coming in from both of the players. Now a three v three situation. And well, still the, uh, the op uh, left on Falcon over there. So, like, what do you think? Like, what's going to happen in this round? And they are entering the territory of free key. It's like entry is prohibited out over here. And let's see whether he ma he manages to miss those shots. And but instantly taken down by Falcon. The nice banker coming up for Alf, and it's two on two. Starboy and Mantri, the fourth and the fifth uh, players of the uh, Yaksha, you can call them. And let's see whether they can, they are they are able to close this round. The C4 has the C4 is at B, looking at B, and they would be going in for a plan soon. But not looking good for the Yaksha. It, it's like if they have to make a comeback, it is this round. And if they pull out this round, there would be some hope for them. Uh, but if they manage to lose this, it would be all and over because they have to come eco again and they have to put in the hard yards again. And Starboy, look at the shot. He's so afraid, like he's scared. He 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 doesn't know where to hide. That's a very sad pose coming in for him. But he takes on Falcon. He takes on Buster. So finally, Yaksha's on the scoreboard. A huge sigh of relief. You can see at the dugout, it's like, oh my god. At least one. Ek round to mila, to Finally, just managing to put up on a score of one on their scoreboard. It's 10 to 1. But still, a long way to go. And only like 12 rounds have happened. So still, we have 18 rounds left in this game. But I don't think so. It's going to be the shade that's giving them a lot of room to breathe for this game. Well, Skadu is going for that ambitious shot with that orb. But now it's going to be Slot shutting down him. Fail over there. OMG. This game is just going crazy with those frags, man. Like, oh, this is a game like... Uh, I don't know why it's going to... Yaksha is playing aggressive in that situation. Going for a one-on-one -on -one fight against these players. It's going it, to... They should actually go in with like a unity like, with, with, uh, from all the players, like going on a side together at at the same time. I do, I do think like Falcon did spot of someone towards the alley, so that's why he made like a huge rotation towards the city side. But also a fake coming in from them as they know it's gonna be Falcon who has spotted us. So it's a better decision just to move back and not take that fight. So that is a nice gameplay coming in from them. And the shades out over here, they're not afraid to take the aggressive shot. You can see the confidence that Slots has. You have never seen this type of shot being taken by him. It's like he always plays passive. He's always scared. But today, after that diffuse, he's a completely changed man. Look yeah. at the shot he's taking. He's the, not afraid. Yeah, like, man. The start you, of the game you, only with the other ninja. You want to challenge me? And I accept that. And let's see that he could do some damage because they are eventually making their way up to the inner side. And, they, and it would be one guy who would be faking at the mid and rest of them would be going in towards the inner but no if they climb down the CT ladder and it's up to bust let's see what he has in store for us and it takes down one and what a shot and what a shot will get bust it takes down recall bust it bust it takes down shot boy it's like I'm reading a news bulletin out of a mantri he has to do all the killing it's a 1v4 it's a mountain it's a 5 and falcon takes him down it's like share this all the way <coughs> man 11 and I'm losing one my voice out over here. Is, yeah. they, this guy is just shot. I got on the you top. covered, bro. Don't worry. <coughs> it's okay. <laughs> it yeah. happens, man. Like, even I lost my voice, so that's why you're covering with for me. Uh, recoil match is just the lone guy left with, uh, like, with that AK and not much bias. Like, okay, he has a company with Mantri for an AK, but others on upgrade pistols, two deagles coming in and one P250. Not a good strat. Uh, a random buy coming in. They should have gone for an eco because. Uh, they could have like gone for the next, next by oh slot coming in with those frag but he's now going low on hp just a rain of bullet towards him he is gonna die soon just tap of a bullet actually and now making a huge fallback towards and, the and in Blitz. the meanwhile jerry and you we, i just heard you won't believe what i did what did i just heard i heard freaky talking on the stage it's like mat aao, mat aao, rotation mat karo. What? oh frags coming in it's just raining frags everywhere recoil master left in a one-on-five situation. Well, 
I don't think so. It's gonna be a clutch. Oh, spams coming in. Like they know where is this guy. So that's a perfect read coming in from the shares as they know their perfect gameplay. Well, freaky. Uh, like she's loading up. Falcon is gonna burst his head into pieces. Recall master. 12-1. I what don't know what happening? I'm watching right now. Is it a finale or a random matchmaking? Whether where five global allies are competing against five silver Silvers. foes. And it's like looking like a match between the Shardis versus... It's like Yakshas versus the Universe. All of them are supporting Shardis. And they have to because the under, they were the underdogs. And look at them, they are just intimidating the opponent. Yakshas, they don't know what to do. And Freaky, it's like he, he would be taking the aggressive shots. Let's see whether he could do some damage. No, no, you don't pull that out here yet. He's watched one, couldn't bring him down. He brings him down eventually. The recoil master, it's like... It, it, it's like... All in all, recoil for him and he loves the smoke. He brings on him. Let's see that he could get the third kill. Oh, oh silencer! Oh, coming in a mistake coming in from Freaky there. But nonetheless, H4 versus 3. Starboy is on low HP and he's being traded there. So the C4 has been dropped and it's all in over for the Yakshas in this round because the chase is the way they are playing. They won't let him pick the C4. And he shadows. Basha takes him down. Bunty dies. It's like all and over for the Yaksha. They had to make a comeback. Or oh, this would be done for them. It's all and over. Share this. Why ye kon si team hai? Kahan de? Kahan de? Itne din like they were. They actually surprised us. Like they knew that they were gonna reach finals. I think so. And this is like a surprise game coming in from them. Like let it be the Akramaks. Like best on the paper. We are best on the field, man. Like, and to be honestly, don't I'm not offending anyone on the Tekken side, but I do feel it's gonna be like Yakshas are just playing like all these Tekken games play. <laughs> <laughs> not winning a single round. Like just yeah, they do have at least one round compared to Aussie. But okay. And like let's go back into the game. Too much of like other games. It's and gonna be shutting down Mantri. Oh then Skadu just going in, like just crazy with two screw frags finally managing to up his scoreboard. It's gonna be a 2v3 situation. Looks like at least one more round coming in from there. This is the, gonna be the last one for the first half. And yes, it does end with a 13-2. Amazing, amazing gameplay coming in from the Shadels. What an amazing half for them. Three defuses coming in, starts with a defuse. And uh, what a match. I and do feel like, like honored to be casting this game today, man. But like I have a I feeling, Jairin, I guess the CD comeback is real. has been made from uh, comebacks have been made from 14-1 in this map. So it's like a very strong CD map, and you cannot write off the Yakshas yet. But if they lose the first round, it would be curtains and end of the uh, end of the road in CS:GO at least, and they have to fight it out in the real cricket and, and the Dota, Dota yeah. game. And Dota, the Shadels have a very good side, and they are tied. even the Yakshas. They have Yakshas, man. Are, they they both are tied at, if I'm not wrong, seven games each. So they, are, they, they the Dota team of both the team uh, of both the Shadels and Yakshas have lost only three. So it's like a tough fight between the uh, uh, in, in the in the Dota, but if. Yeah, if uh, Shadels wins this and Shadels wins the upcoming Griel Cricket game, the trophy would be going straight to them. The trophy looks amazing. That, that is the pride and that is everything that they need right now. And it's just in front of Impale and Freaky over And like, I think it's going to be Freaky who loves the trophy more. Look at those fraggy just went crazy in that round. Looking at the current setup, it's gonna be like a rush coming in towards the IV Mantri is not ready. I do think so. Yeah, yes, he gets shut down. Buster giving him a nice headshot. Well, a refrag coming in, but not for long. It's gonna be freaky who's gonna take a uh, star boy over there, making it a 3v4 situation. Impel is good with his pistols. We have seen amazing gameplay coming in from him. Or oh, it's taking some fire. That is not good for him. Just low on HP, just six left on him. The C4 has gone down. It's a 3v3 situation still. And the players are low on HP. It's gonna be Rich and Falcon versus the universe on them. It's two on two. Now just made a 2-1-1. Ritz low on HP. Both of the players are on 100. So not looking good for Ritz over here. But a nice rotation coming in from him. The players don't know where he is exactly. And actually Skadoosh is going for the diffuse. He does have the diffuse kit on him. And I, yes, he is going down. But now it's going to be still a diffuse coming in as the, he has a lot and lots of time to work with on the diffuse and the C5 diffuse. Like finally, just managing to add up one more score. That was good gameplay from Red Shorts over there. He just managed to fake it, but eventually he just took it 
too far out there. He he just had to backtrack there, but he opted for a fight with Kadush, and he 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 was just single bullet away. Had he managed to kill the diffuser there and managed to hide up, just play a hide and seek with the last guy remaining, uh, the C4 could have go, gone up and it would have been around for the shadows. But Yakshas, they have managed to survive. They have taken out the first round, so it's going good for them. It's like the shadows going for an eco, and they would be eventually going in for a buy in the next round. But let's see, with the in the way of in the kind of form they are, you cannot just uh, write them off. They can eventually take out the see uh, eco round as well. And Skadoosh just uh, popping out the molly at the right time and taking down the and taking a falcon out over there. So good round coming in from the Yakshas. Uh, let's see whether they manage to place this. But Skadoosh not taking much damage, but doing um, but doing a lot of damage to the shaders out over there. And, and, and he's going in aggressive again. He's low on HP, just a single bullet away. Let's see whether he is opting for a fight. He's like he's. He's dealing fire with fire currently, but if he manages to die, it won't make much of a difference. And he eventually he does. It's a three on four, but he manages to give the SMG to Rich and impale with a headshot on Rich out over there, instantly shutting him off there. So it's a two on three uh, with Buster and Freaky. Their decision would be, and they would be just thinking of the plan. And it's like we don't want the round; we just want the C4 to go in so that we have economy. But Starboy, he won't let them plan in peace, and it's Buster. 3k and he eventually dies. It's like Yakshas getting the two rounds. So are we seeing a comeback on the card too early to come in? But let's see. I hope they make a comeback and I hope this would be a great final. Oh, a pause coming in <coughs> on the perfect time because it's going to be a buy round coming in for the Shadows. And that would give some push to Yakshas over there. Like, why is this pause coming in so soon? And I do have a feeling the, the Shadows, uh, the Falcon, is actually the in-game leader today as Riz just gave him the honours on... He actually gave the honours on to Falcon over there just to lead the game because Mikey he wants smile to... Though, <laughs> the yeah. crowd are cheering him. Yeah, yeah, he smile. is, and he like, he he is he, so happy. He, he has, just turned red him. and it is very difficult to turn red. It's, look at Buster, like with 22-9, he's just going crazy with those frags and 5-5 MVP coming on on Freaky. Well, speaking of MVP, it's going to be impaled with two MVPs and uh, Freaky on two MVPs for like the whole matches that happened overall in the U Cypher. So, Sorry. like uh, ties between them, but I do think so it's going to be Buster today. But if Freaky shows up a game more better than, like looking at the score, it's going to be it's equal. Like like, perfect yeah. as if you got success for Shaders is... Popping a smoke at the close area in a at in a and two flash coming in from the heaven, and you just let Freaky do the killing there, and he would be just going in for a rampage there. Trust me, he's I I haven't seen a better uh, anti fragger yeah. than Freaky, and if he's uh, uh, given the right kind of uh, training and some uh, nice uh, uh, nice gameplay or thought some nice gameplay out over there. He can be a great entry fragger, but uh, Yaksha is making a comeback. It's freaky. Let's see whether he could clash it. It's a one on three, and we are asking too much out over here. But looking at the kind of form he is in, it, 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 it isn't much. So Yaksha is managing to make a comeback, and Shade is managing to give away a uh, buy round. So let's see whether we are in for a comeback and Yakshas they still haven't lost hope and you can see at the dugout they're constantly cheering them. They know that this is a city map and comeback is always real in it. I think this match is going to be a 16-8 scoreline. 16-8 to be honest. I guess it would be 16-7. But let's see. I was actually thinking of 16-7 but uh, looking Don't at the current... Don't copy me Jerry. No, no, no. It. I'll give you the reason for that. Because uh, look at the current stats. If the Shadows lose now as well, and looking at the current scenario, it, it is. Uh, but let's go into the game. I'll explain you later. It's going to be slots burning to death over there. It's Kadush getting the second frag by that Molly, making the 3v5 situation. And it's going to be rich just on 72. So not much da damage taken by him. And uh, currently making a fallback. So it looks like a passive game coming in from them. And they. I don't know why it's freaky being so freaky out there and just uh, going for a, like an aggressive gameplay. Well, they do have the C4 in control, but Skadoosh is going crazy with the flags. And now it's going to be Yukamasa giving him nice backup to shut down the share this. So, yeah. So, what I was saying is looking at the concerns, so now they are on by. So, what will happen is if they win this round 14 16. So, there are like more two, uh, like two rounds for the Yakshas to win at least. Like, just to fight back, and if uh, if they uh, if the Yakshas lose one more round, so after seven rounds, so if they lose one more, so they have to actually go for an uh, for an eco round, and it would be like a mix by coming in and from just them. see so. Rich out over there. He's just made a, made his way up. 
to the inner side in no time and it's like impale he would be in a lot of trouble if Rich Mashu gets the first shot but he, he thinks otherwise it's a very aggressive setup at the open area so it's like only impale who's marking the inner side and Skadoosh with that aggressive shot coming in on slots and he's taking fire but he does, doesn't realize where he's being hit from and Falcon eventually takes him down. It's it's, it's Starboy, he's, he's taking the same posy, he's same posy quite too often and Freaky instantly taking two kills. It's Starboy and Freaky with three kills! It's only Impel and if the Yakshas have to stay in the hunt, they have to win this and it's all upon Impel, the experienced campaigner, playing the X80 guy. Let's see whether he can stand up. He's, he's watched one, takes on Freaky out over there. Freaky just being caught out of position. Impel takes down two. Are they in for a throw? And it's like they know that the fourth guy is... And he misses Ooh, the shot. shot and Ritz man. and he and... Ritz takes it down! Good one coming in from Ritz but well played Impel. The experience showing there and he, and, and he went for the kill but eventually Ritz his counterpart in the first professional team of India, which was the 80, they were both my teammates, so they, they both know their game game styles equally well. And which managing to have a last laugh there. It's like shade have they got the momentum freaky with those three kills. And I I I I, I always tell you that if he manages to get a single kill, he it, it always multiplies for him. He never gets a only he never he never gets a single kill. Like, even on the last game, like when he had like those three bullets he left. Uh, for him, like on his deagle, he got like three amazing kills. And, um, well, if the Yakshas lose this one, it's not looking good for them and it might even end 16 6. Well, Freaky just going down for an easy shot coming in from Impale. Well, the double up setup did work perfectly for the Yakshas in the previous rounds. And even now, they are opting for a double up setup. So, not good buys coming in, but double up setup and two farmers and an M4. So, but not much utilities on them. <laughs> it's gonna be only recoil master with a kit on him, and there's no uh, flashes. Like there is only one and one one flash and one molly towards the share. They'll just to work out in this in this round. So even not looking good for them. But yeah, they are good with their aiming skills, and uh, it's actually gonna be a pretty uh, one-sided match or like sorry, a one-sided round because uh, it's actually a city-sided game. So if these guys on the Yakshas have like a nice pre-spot over the locations where the Shedils can enter, they can get those easy frags. 35 seconds left on the clock, well Impale uh, with a perfect angle towards the lowers. And now let's see who is going to get the first one. Looks like it's going to be a rush coming in soon from the Shedils. And yes, it does. Well, he's going for the frag but misses few bullets. Uh, all, on, all are on low on HP. Going for a second frag as well. Not looking good for the Shedils. It's going to be Ritz only left alone in the situation. Still 13 seconds on the clock. He has to go for a save because still 90 in armor. Yes, he can work it on the next round. So he's going for the save, a nice strategy coming in from Ritz, but he, but Impel is going in for the hunt. It's like, I won't rest you, I, I won't let you rest in peace, but Ritz taking on Impel. So it's like two rounds where it's as kill Impel and uh, be, uh, being the last fragger. So the match is set to pause Shadels. They have utilized their pause and it's a good strategy for them because they, they don't want it to go to the wire. It's like, let's complete it. Let, let, let's not give them hope and let's not give them chance to make a comeback and just crush them out. And let's see whether it, it would be my prediction, 16-7 or your 16-8, or it would be the audience predictions. 15 all. <laughs> they would well, be hoping for 15 all. That would be an amazing comeback, dude. If they get 15 all, it's like totally like uh, going for a one-sided game. Like then it's always gonna be a city-sided map. Everyone who thinks it's a city-sided map, like why should we like go for the T? Like well, play city first and then we'll move on to the city side, man. Uh, for the T side, just to score like 15 on first on the uh, city and then just one round on T. It's easy. So 14-7, Shadels with the advantage of seven rounds there, but it's a, it's a huge gap, but Yakshas, it was 13-2, they have trimmed, uh, it, it was an advantage of 13 rounds there? No, it was an advantage of 11 rounds, the Yakshas have trimmed it to seven rounds, let's see whether they can trim it to zero and make a comeback and make it eventually 15 all, all. let's see if, 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 the, if they make a dream comeback whether they can go for the 16-7 score, 16-14 uh, scoreline and just manage to upset the crowd, just upset the shadels and just make a comeback and write their name in the history books. 16-14? 16-14, yeah. yeah. Not, give, not giving a single round after this to the shadels. Uh, well, now let's see. It's a passive game coming in and I do think they are getting ready for the smokes because I see five smokes on the players and they have started to pop off on the outer side looks like a rush coming in which won't be good for uh, for the uh, for the yakshas but yeah they are with like good weapons to 
to work with now in this situation the sea fog went down instantly so they are like surely going to get a good economy for the uh, for the next round but still a 515 left in this scenario and the c4 is down as well well falcon taking some damage over there just left on 2 hp look like that made it a huge damage over there and buster is going to go down by mantri and now freaky is just going to shut down impair but sharp and recall master coming in with those nice two frags and we're just going to shut down so douche well it's going crazy with those frags going for the third frag as well oh, but no it's going to die instantly by starboy going for the defuse well it's going to be 16 8 night right now and so i so, went wrong. so i knew river rich was coming from it, it's like a good round from the shaders and let's see whether they could uh, just copy this uh, strategy into the buy round it's 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 like four of them going in for the smoke and planting the c4 at the open side and rich coming in from the inner side and eventually making his way up to the center mid and doing the back side out of here so it it has worked for him for him uh, for for the previous two round where they have opted for this strategy and let's see whether yaksha the manager get a hold of it or they would be still falling for the same trap well looking at the current situation they are still on eco so i do not think like a lot much can be done against the yakshas because even they are good like playing with those rifles when it's not easy to pull out like an eco round again like look at skadoo he just needs a tiny gap and he is going to shut down slot over there amazing gameplay coming in from skadoo as well as they do not want to lose and and rico much is just going crazy with the like three frags coming in by rico master what an amazing gameplay shown by him right now on the stage and it's going to be buster left alone in this situation it's going to be impel who's going to shut him down making it to 14 9 even my prediction goes wrong but i'm still happy for the yaksha that they're making it come back right whether it would be 15 all or whether it would be my 16, 14, weird prediction 16 14 16, and if that happens any this, new predictions this, coming in this this arena is going to erupt and the yaksha player would be running hent as held the skelt out over here and they would be just giving it back to the audience there and also the shaders but let's see i hope this doesn't happen and it, the game is played in the good spirit and i guess they should avo avoid the open open area because it's like kadush and uh, recall master are playing pretty well with the op and they need to respect the player and they should be targeting the inner side i it is working for them uh, they they were using the strategy of going in uh, with a smoke and why are they not going for for it I guess it's like the same open smoke setup coming in from the shaders out there. The smokes have popped out and they would be eventually, but they have left the gap open and there's no vision for the upper to take his shots. It's like he has to fire in without any vision and he and let's see whether he is able to get some kill. But C4 goes down and it would be again Richwood. Let's see whether Richwood make a uh, uh, backstab out over there. But Shabba managed to kill Falcon out over there and the smoke goes out. It's like blocking the vision at SL. and they are playing it very safe and they are making it hard for the yakshas here let's see but shabboy gets two it he gets freaky and rich in a single fire and it's all yakshas and they are making a comeback they are in for it and it's all going wrong for the shaders i guess they should just respect the fact that the yakshas are managing the a side beautifully so they they should go so they should be uh, aiming for the inner side and it's quite easy to going to the inner side a smoke pops in towards the inner side a smoke pops in to the upper area just blocking the shot of the guy uh, let it be a opper or a guy with an assault rifle and i do think uh, actually they should actually go for a fake plant uh, gameplay because uh, looking at the current scenario like there is like an instant rotation coming in from the yakshas so they should actually take this as like an advantage as uh, one guy one or two guys actually should go towards you know like all five smokes or flashes should be coming out on on a different side and just making it should be actually the, like uh, going towards the inner but it's going to be mantri who's going to take a fight soon again because the push is coming towards him he's going to shut down one but not managing to get go for the second frag as well he's going to freaky just taking a revenge frag on mantri slots going in for the frag on starboy making the 3v4 situation skadoosh with the op he's ready for the shot and now he's going to fall back as there is less vision on him rico must come again from behind but no it's going to be falcon who's going to shut him down with a nice headshot a 2v4 situation now left it's going to be skadoosh who's moving towards the side the c4 has planted the players have gone to their respective posies taking a nice passive uh, posy over there well he's for the foot this is the anzu and he is going to pay it with his life is going to be rich shutting him down impel left in a one in three one on three situation he goes on as well well 15 to 10 the score line currently and shadels are on match point right now and i do not think like a perfect buy would be coming in for the yakshas as they do have like an economy coming in but not Okay, I went in wrong with them, and uh, yes, they who do have perfect buys coming in for them. I don't know why it's Buster. They're still going with the eco, and uh, 
Oh, why is he AFK? Okay, looks like uh, like a drop comes in for him, and all perfect utilities and the resources are like over there for the teammates. This currently the situation looking over the map. The players are split on all of the locations, as you can see here. It's gonna be a split push coming in soon from all the different angles just to confuse the yakshas and play like mind games against them. Like w what is gonna happen? And <laughs> what did Mandy do? He was so scared of that flash. He just took <coughs> gun away, and it, it the nerves are getting better of him. It's like he uh, they, they are four guys managing. Yeah. He and Shaw are managing Yel, but the pressure is just getting the better of him. And Mandri is not able to perform. Look at this frag. He's just at nine frag, and it, it's a finale. You need China. And oh, Falcon can take him down with a headshot. And Starboy, he's taking fire from all angles. He's being sandwiched there, but let's see whether he. He has some space left to play with, and let's see whether he could match you get some skill. The smoke blocking off his vision there, and let and I guess someone has made his way up to the second mid, and it's Star Boy, who is who is in a very difficult position, and it's like Impel, he has info. It's like they are they are going for the fake, and they have hurt Jerry uh, over and again. But let's see whether this yeah, could. Yeah, I do think yeah. it's like that's nice strategy. on Star Boy oh. out over here. And Recall Master just shutting down Falcon. It's like enough of your, your bullets, my friend. It's like my bullet who will speak. And Master takes off Recall Master. It's a four on two. Let's see whether they could score closes. And it's like Impel just missing that spray out over here. And let's see whether he has thrown the game away. So it's a one on three one. Kadush. And we can take the same. This will be his final match. A miracle you can call the game. And the same action have taken this man. Give me a fucking high five to one. Oh, yeah.